Hi friends, how are you? I think you are doing good. You are with me today with Dr. Rajesh Shekhar. You are going to learn about research. Today I have come up with an interesting topic, quantitative research data analysis. In the previous video, I was talking about the qualitative research analysis. In this video, you will learn about quantitative research analysis and statistical tools. Please watch the full video right from the beginning to the end so that you will be able to understand what I am trying to say. Come, let's get started. See, if you take the quantitative data analysis, first of all, the quantitative uh, uh, data analysis has, what do we, because, you know, it has a two uh, uh, divisions. Uh, you can divide into two way. One is uh, inferential statistics, another one is descriptive statistics. So, in this, based on the quantitative data, you will do either inferential statistics or a descriptive statistics. So, in the descriptive statistics, you will simply describe the element based on the data. You will simply describe, you will, you will never try to infer anything just to present the data as it is. Just it's a description. And whereas in the inferential statistics, you will use certain statistical tool, you will try to infer the relationship between the variable or the groups and you will try to find out. Find out certain relationship. And basically the quantitative data analysis, what it tries to say, the quantitative data analysis, they, you know, using the data, it tries to uh, study the relationship between a vari between variables or between groups. That's a basic thing. So that's what one is inferential uh, statistic, another one descri descriptive statistics. Then if you further, if you take the uh, statistical test level concern, the test can be divided into two. One is parametric test, another one is non-parametric test. See, parametric test, it requires the statistical data distribution. So the day it relies on how the statistical data is di distributed based on that only the what you call parametric test can be constructed. There are what are the parametric test tools? See, you will have always mean, mode, median, regression analysis, t-test, ANOVA. And the ANOVA, single way ANOVA, multiple ANOVA is there, but we will see only t-test and ANOVA and regression analysis. See, in the uh, uh, parametric test, as I already told you that, it requires the statistical data distribution and it will tries to, uh, what you call, analyze the, you know, what you call, uh, it, will, it will try to analyze the data, then it will try to generalize and give you the present, uh, it will find, it will give the finding. Let me give you an example. So you have a two group, so the, the using this data, you will identify the mean, mode and median. What is the mean is average. Why do you require average? Because based on the average only, you will be able to compare two group then you will be able to say whether which is higher or lower or whether it is right or wrong or all these comparison can be done only based on the mean value after studying the entire population A and population B then you will identify a mean for A, mean for B then you will try to compare it that's why mean is an average. Median where it has the what you call equal distribution is there and, and based on that the median will be calculated, median. And if you look at the standard deviation See, from the uh, mean, what is the deviation from the two group? For example, you have a 60 sample and if you identify the standard, if the, if the standard deviation is very high, your data is not reliable. The standard deviation is less mean than only the data is reliable. So, in general, standard deviation has to be less. If it is high, your data is, it is deviating from the median. That's what the uh, what do you call the average mean, if it is deviating high means it is unreliable. That's why standard deviation has to be within a limit and it should be uh, high, what do you call, very less. Now come to the uh, uh, test. What are the test tools, statistical tool you'll use it? One is first thing, t-test. See, t-test compares the two groups, then identify the differences and for the statistical testing, what hypothesis testing. So based on this analysis, the t-test, either you will accept the hypothesis or reject the hypothesis. When you accept the hypothesis, either you will accept alternate or you, you null hypothesis. See, in the hypothesis, there are the detailed description about the hypothesis in, the, uh, in my research, from a previous research video. I'll give the link there and you can go to the link and you will check about what are the different types of uh, hypothesis how to do the testing. You will learn it.
So now come back. So you will be doing the hypothesis testing. So through the statistical analysis, that's what alpha value if it is 0 0.05. If it is less, obviously the what you call the alternate hypothesis will be accepted. Null hypothesis will be rejected. If it is the uh, value is uh, more than 0 0.05, the null hypothesis will be accepted, alternate will be rejected. So that and all you will be know, knowing clearly uh, from this what you call, uh, not here. In this uh, link you can understand it later. Now, why do we require, uh, there are two tests, one is t-test, then why do you require ANOVA? What's the difference between t-test and ANOVA? See, t-test will compare the two groups and identify the differences, difference or relationship. Whereas ANOVA, when you have more than two groups, if you want to under, uh, study the, all the more than two groups in simultaneously, the, if all the three groups are that you want to study simultane simultaneously, that time you require ANOVA test to understand the statistical relevance. So, you are clear now the parametric test, mean, more, median and the T test and the ANOVA test. The regression analysis also the same thing. I will talk about regression analysis in the next video in detail. Now, come back to the uh, non-parametric test. See, non-parametric test does not rely on the statistical distribution of the data. It, it goes with the normal uh, data and where in general it will work like a descriptive statistics. In here, you simply you will know the, uh, you record the entire data, you will identify the low high value and you will identify the central tendency of the thing. But you will never identify the relationship between the two variable or two group that is that will not uh, happen in the non-parametric test but only one thing will happen in the chi-square test is the only test which comes under the non-parametric test here you will not compare the two group here you will compare two variable see in the parametric test that is uh, uh, t-test and the ANOVA test you will be comparing either two group or more than two group and you would identify the relationship but in this chi-square test you will not compare any group Instead of that, you will be comparing two variables. And if you want to know more about the variable and you go back, go to the uh, link I have given, what are the different variables in research, you watch that video, you will be able to understand it. So this is what, what do you call, descriptive uh, and, uh, what your data analysis and the inferential data analysis. Now, let me quickly sum up. See, the, uh, quantitative data analysis, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics simply describe, inferential statistics try to identify the uh, relationship between two groups or more than two groups. Whereas, and further, this the, the, the test can be divided into two, one is parametric test and non-parametric test. All the statistics based on the statistical distribution, the parametric tests, uh, tests are normally constructed. In the parametric test, only you will be seeing the mean, mode, median and the t-test and the ANOVA and the regression analysis. Whereas in the other, other one is the non-parametric test where you don't rely on the statistical distribution of the data. A normal raw, raw data you will take, you will identify low and high value or you will just present the central tendency. And the only uh, non-parametric uh, uh, test in the statistical test is chi-square. Here two variables will be uh, compared and uh, you will either you will accept the to test the hypothesis whether to accept it or reject it, you will use the chi-square test. Now, these are the various tools uh, used in the quantitative uh, data analysis. Now, I think you have got a, a clear idea about what is the uh, different tools used in the quantitative data analysis, how it is done. Then in the future video, I'll be talking in detail about all these tests, how you are supposed to conduct and all those, how to measure all those things. Let me talk about it. Till then, I'll be uh, uh, just to buy from you. And one more thing, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. Till then, bye from Rajshekha.